There are many games released every month, but most of them end up discarded and forgotten about over the years. So I looked through over 100 games and picked out just a few and discovered some super interesting communities. Huge shout out to Rai Games as he was the inspiration for this video. Now there's certainly a fair share of dino games on Steam, this one is no exception. By the looks of it, the game is made by two brothers, which is cool considering they still put out updates to this day. But with all that said, it's time to do some exploring. The game started with a tutorial and let's just say I was off to a pretty good start. The tutorial then proceeded to have me select a contract and it was time to slay my first dinosaur. Whew, here we go. All right. Wait, wait, I think I got it. Uh, I can't tell if it's dead or not. It is. Oh, <laughs> hi. Now I just had to hit fill contract and the tutorial was done. Like what? Oh, now that I got the tutorial out of the way, I decided to try to find some multiplayer servers to play on. Oh, there's zero matches found. It's probably because there's only six people in game right now. I decided to just open up a lobby of my own and hope that another player would actually join me. All right, here's our base. I should probably start a contract. Get a contract for this bad boy. Hi, buddy. How's it going? I'm not here. You don't know about me. Should go for the head? Headshot. Unfortunately, I ended up missing pretty much every shot after that, so I had to go chase it down. I mean, it's probably pretty far away by this point. I- Oh, is that him? He does not seem happy. He's mad at me. And with that, my second dinosaur was taken down. Okay, this thing's definitely damaged real good. Well, fill contract. After wandering around the map for a while, something much scarier was nearby. That's close. That's a T-Rex. Should I unload a mag on it? Oh, no, 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 no. After that stressful encounter, I realized I was really low in ammo and had to go back to the base. Where's the base? Cause we need more ammo. It's this way. Unfortunately, I was a little too broke to buy any of the cool weapons, so I just had to stick with ammo. After a while of playing, I just decided to revisit the game a few days later because there was almost no players on. Before attempting to join any servers, I decided it was finally time to try to customize my character. Oh, these are some uh, combinations indeed. All right. Okay. Yeah, we're sticking with this. That's good enough. After finishing up the character customization, I hopped into a multiplayer server, and that's where I met Nixu. My first time bumping into him, I literally found him while he was in the middle of fighting a T-Rex, so I obviously had to do my part. Crap, 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 crap. Hey! First T-Rex taken down. I then told him that was my first T-Rex kill. And this kind son of a gun told me I could have it. You can't just give it to me. Come on now. All right. Well, I will I will take it. Let's take a trophy shot. <laughs> I'm just holding out the Glock. After claiming the T-Rex kill, I tried to complete a Triceratops contract. The first one, I stole from a T-Rex. The second one, I found about six minutes later and took it out. All I needed was one more to complete the contract. I spent nearly 20 minutes just trying to track down the last dino. When I finally found it, I died. And then I had to head towards the radio tower to get more ammo. But about five seconds before I could reach the radio tower, a pterodactyl swooped down and killed me. So instead, I said my goodbyes to Nixu and ended up quitting the game out of frustration. While I was looking through a long list of Steam games, I found a game by the name of The Rifleman. Now, it doesn't particularly have great ratings, but I decided to give it a chance anyways. And boy, was I wildly surprised. There's voice chat in this game? Are you serious? The first game I joined, the objective was to get eliminations and then collect the gold and return it to a certain point. Look at these plays. As you can kind of tell, I just focused on eliminations because I had no idea how the gold collection worked. But hey, I didn't feel like I was doing half bad. Turns out I had joined pretty late in the game, so shortly after I joined, it finished. All right, this game's a little bit fun. After playing the game in a few of its different game modes, I found out how incredibly good the bots were the hard way. What? Why are these bots so cracked? What? 
this game must have like the best bots like ever so i decided to ask one of the players why the bots were so good and he said they've always been good but this update made them even more deadly scavenger mode don't waste your ammo is that Mr. Krabs? I don't know if that was Mr. Krabs or just some crazy sound alike. But what I do know is a guy in my game somehow got an RPG. So I had to find out how. So I asked in text chat and what Planet Zero told me was those special weapons actually came from care packages. So now I knew how to get them. So I obviously had to try it. Yo, this is OP. So it turns out there's about four or five different items you can get from the drops. And they're pretty overpowered. At this point, I have been playing the game for over an hour. There was voice chat in this game, right? What's up? I hate my team. What is this game? Uh, I think it's a pretty fun game. Uh, where did you find the game from? Free to play. Oh. I was looking for something. How long you play this for? Like like an hour and a half. It's that fun. I got a little bit into it. Uh, where are you from? Uh, Sweden. What about you? I'm from America, but I'm living in Norway right now. Oh, nice. After talking of I Hate My Team for a little bit, I found out who's actually taking refuge from Call of Duty by playing this game instead. Yeah, I used to rage quit at, um, you know, the new Call of Duty update. I rage quit and I go to this. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> this That's understandable. <laughs> yeah. I was slowly teaching him how to play the game and we were having a fun time. Oh, you got a scope. <laughs> how did you get that? It's it's one of the supply oh, drop weapons. I got you. <laughs> Nice. After me and I hate my team talked for a while, another guy joined us and he was pretty good. Oh, this katana! <laughs> Oops, sorry. No, that that was well played. What is secure and survive? I think it's like a search and destruction in Call of Duty. Oh, where are you from, Zar? From France. Oh, very cool. These two guys were super wholesome, and I ended up playing with them for another half an hour. You should try bunny hopping with a knife. It's so much fun. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dang. Oh, sorry, man. I feel no, bad. no, you're fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you peeked there. <laughs> Gotta catch you by surprise. The window. That katana's scary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you tried. <laughs> yeah, shouldn't have brought a knife to a katana fight. No, no, no. <laughs> Eventually, I had to say my goodbyes since it was getting late and I was hungry. All right, you guys have a great one. I think that's my last one. Yeah, me too. Yeah, man. Thanks for the game. Yeah, thanks for the games as well. You have a good one. Hi. Bye. This game may have had a mixed Steam rating, but as you can see by the recent update, the devs are still trying to make the game a better place. And I think Mizar and I Hate My Team had a pretty good time. Redux is basically a strategy game where you try to take out your enemy's base while protecting your own. And it definitely has a very interesting community, but we'll get to that soon. I started by joining a random guy's lobby. For some reason, the guy just started insulting me. Okay, he obviously thinks I'm someone else. This is a little bit of a weird situation. Whoa, the movement in this game is fun off the rip. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Learn from me. I made the dumb mistake of not playing this tutorial before hopping in a multiplayer world, which rookie mistake, but I just wanted to play with some other people. What do I do? I asked him how to play the game, but he eventually gave up on teaching me and told me, yeah, just go play the tutorial and come back later. So that's what I went ahead and did. Why didn't I do the combat exercises? I'm so stupid. It taught me how to use the controls. Oh my goodness. <gasps> How do I cushion? How do I cushion? How do I cushion? How do I cushion? How to place troops? <laughs> All right, buddy. Destroy that drone. Hello? It's getting kind of close. Destroy it. There we go. It also taught me how to collect materials and send out troops. Get me that scrap, buddy. Now that I actually had some experience under my belt, I destroyed some bot towers and then decided to try multiplayer again. Wait a second. Is this one joinable? <gasps> Wait, it is. I then spawned into the world and this happened. Are you kidding me? Oh, what? 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 Uh, chill, chill. I'm new, homie. 
I'm new. Stop stomping me. Is this the same guy from yesterday? No, it's not. I then rejoined and the exact same thing happened again. Like, come on, man. Ow, 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 ow. Well, I survived. That's good. Just wait. Hide and seek. What do you mean ambush? Did he find out where I am? Oh, no. Oh, what was that? Oh, there's a lot more people here now. What? Oh, no, 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 no. Well, I'm alive. Somehow. This guy who had been showing me no mercy explained that the other two people were friends of a guy named bz 98 who was a guy who would troll and ruin his maps, which is why he set up a spawn trap. But before he left, he drops a very interesting piece of information. He is Navy Bean. Yeah, that guy that insulted me earlier thinking I was bz 98 -er. Well, after that interesting interaction, I noticed that a kind soul in the Discord had redirected me to a more active Battlezone Redux Discord. So I went ahead and joined that. Now, this Discord is where things got really interesting. I asked them about Navy Bean, also known as Captain Chaos, to try to figure out what was going on. Turns out, bz 98 -er wasn't the one who was the troll. It was Navy Bean the whole time. After chatting with them for about 20 minutes, they recommended I try the second game. And you know what? I decided to give it a shot. After booting up the game, I made sure to play the tutorial this time before joining a multiplayer server. Do not worry. And to say the graphics look better would be an understatement. After completing the mission, I decided to create a game because there's no other multiplayer player servers and after waiting a while by myself eventually another player joined and this is the first multiplayer game i gotta play without any trolls interrupting or ruining the fun hi i'm not alone <laughs> someone joined let's go dude now that we had another player in the game, I decided to ask him some questions. And what I learned is this guy's been playing the game for five years. Little did I know I was about to be destroyed. I started by building some factories, which basically allow you to spawn in troops like tanks. And then I set up a gun tower, which is basically an auto turret. Oh, it's shooting at something already. Oh, he sent some stuff over already. That sly son of a gun. He's coming. I see him on the minimap. Fire. Oh no. What is that? What? It's like a zap tower. Good thing we have another ship over here. I thought I was safe. Come over to the armory real quick. We need to build some defense. Well, his tower was zapping my defenses. I created a tank to try to fight back. Unfortunately, my tank quickly died. And next thing I knew, he'd sent in a swarm of enemies to attack my towers. The gun tower is somehow alive still. Go tank, go. Okay, these gun towers are good. With that attack, he had gotten rid of most of my defense. Wow, I'm in such a bad spot now. I tried rebuilding some of my towers, but he kept destroying them by himself. Then he sent an absurd amount of troops and surrounded my core tower. At this point, I knew the game was over. How many did he make? Wh what? Yeah, dude. That's GG. Oh. Oh. GG. Overall, this game franchise did have a few problems of trolls, but the helpfulness and innovation in the community really sets it apart. They went out of their way to make sure they answered every question I had. So if you guys happen to be watching this, thank you. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, a subscription would be much appreciated and would allow me to continue making these videos. Have a good one.